All right, you can't say that you understand Spanish football if you don't understand who Xavi is. So today I'm going to be checking out uh, three things every midfielder should learn from Xavi. Here we go. Passing, control, and vision. All of them were key aspects of Xavi's game. And today we're looking into one of the greatest midfield minds the modern football has seen. To gather a list of three things every midfielder should learn from Xavi Hernandez. Now I'm sure you're gonna learn something new Xavi watching Hernandez. this episode, as I will be listing things that are a little bit more unique than vision, ball control, and other obvious things Xavi is always connected to. Let's go. All right, let's go. Let's do it. Number one, La Pausa. We start off with a big one, a term that's very difficult to explain and even harder to learn. But Xavi is one of the true masters of La Pausa, a tactical term that has multiple meanings in football. To break it down in simple language, La Pausa could be explained as temporarily slowing down the game and holding on to the ball to wait mm. for new and better options to happen on the field. In many situations, this means that as the player like with the ball deliberately down. delays his pass and holds on to the ball, he will often mm. And draw defenders closer to him, which creates space elsewhere that can then be exploited by speeding up the play again, either with passing or dribbling. Another hmm. common scenario happens. All right, so this is an interesting uh, thing that I'll that I'll try to incorporate into as I'm learning. You know, I'm trying to learn how to play the game. So La Pasa. So we're going to um, intentionally pause or slow down our pass. So instead of when you get the ball, instead of looking immediately and trying to get rid of it, which is actually what I do. Whenever I receive the ball, I'm already like trying to pa pass the ball immediately. I think my vision's getting better for sure, but I'm always looking to pass immediately instead of actually, uh, you know, waiting on it. So the pause says, like, get the ball, wait, try to draw some defenders onto you so that you can send the ball um, to an open uh, teammate. Interesting, La Pasa. When the player with the ball, again, waits before releasing the ball just long enough for his teammate to be in the absolute perfect position. Quite literally pausing the game for a moment. And Xavi is the master of using La Pausa. Let's take a look at this goal against United. Most people would let go of the ball now. But Xavi waits and waits, almost making it seem like he's holding on to the ball for way too long. But utilizing La Pausa, while Vidic also forgets about Pedro, Xavi finds the perfect wow. moment for the perfect pass. Nice. Here, That's another nice example goal. of La Pausa happens in a simple looking midfield setting. Xavi receives the ball and although a bunch of teammates are making runs, he holds on to the ball, waits for Busquets to create open mm, space before Iniesta's finding open Iniesta, right there. who's all by yeah. himself. So what does this mean for you? Well, La Pausa, Wide open. Perform correctly, is a way for you to take your playmaking ability to the next level. It's a tool for creating pockets of space on the pitch by strategically slowing down the game before moving it forward. Keep in mind, this requires exceptional football intelligence and lots of confidence yeah. and skill. So you actually dare to hold on to the ball for what can seem like an uncomfortably long amount of time. You also need teammates who understand the concept of La Pausa. Teammates who can make those runs, fill up the new empty spaces and have faith they will actually receive the ball from you. Again, La Pausa is yeah. difficult to explain, even more difficult to master, but watching Xavi consistently execute this skill time and time again, well, it's worth looking into and something every midfielder should aim to learn. And you knowing a thing like this exists already puts you ahead of tons of other players. Mm. Now, you just need to start executing. So La Pausa is more of like a philosophy of Okay, oh, let's have a look at something super freaking cool. This is a genuine report card mm. of a 14-year-old Xavi Hernandez playing for La Masia. And in between all the small Spanish text, what we can see that out of the about 15 different criteria, Xavi has been named excellent in two disciplines, ball control, and positioning. In fact, the mm. scouting report suggests that positioning is undoubtedly his best quality. He's always wow. where he should be and always offers support and an option for teammates. Remember, this is what a coach or a scout saw in the 14-year-old Xavi. This is but the thing I struggle with. Is without no a doubt an attribute he perfected and carried with him throughout his entire career. Great positioning of a center midfielder means that you understand when, where, and how to move on the pitch to make yourself available for a pass and when to move away 
away from a certain area to create mm. space for your teammates. However, this is unfortunately something a short YouTube video can't fully teach you. But as Xavi has shown, paying attention to how you move when you don't yeah, have the ball can become yeah. one of your biggest strengths on get the open, pitch. The simple concept of pass and move is a great place to start. After letting go of the ball, always aim to find a new area where your teammate can find you. You can also mm. learn a lot by focusing only on center mids when you watch football on TV and seeing how the best players out there move without the ball, just like Xavi did in his days. And lastly, number three, physique matters, size doesn't. Let me try to explain. Mm. Xavi has been quoted saying, physically I'm limited, but I've survived using my head. And if we look again at the report card of the young Xavi, his balance, speed and flexibility were all marked as average. And in fact, none yeah. of his pure physical attributes were better than good. But even as a small player, a Xavi has shown the too. world that the lack of pure size and physical appearance doesn't necessarily mean you can't compete at a high level. As long as you can make up for your lack of explosive, lightning fast speed by observing and analyzing the game faster than your opponents and thus making faster decisions. You get the point. Now of course, to compete at a high level, you need to be athletic, specifically in the right. context of football, with great stamina and at least an average level of pace. Yeah, you, you have to, to be, be an agile, extreme in conditioned full control athlete. of your own body and be able to execute high intensity actions throughout the 90 minutes. And the point I want you to take away here is not to be discouraged if at a young age you lack physical attributes the players around you might possess. It's a common misconception amongst young players that muscles and sheer size equals great physique. And Xavi is a living example of what football specific athleticism can look like. He had a wonderful mm. low center of gravity and was quite rarely injured despite playing a huge number of games, which looking from the outside tells us he's done his share of the right type of strength and conditioning throughout the years. So don't just focus on hitting the bench press unsupervised trying to get buff just for the sake of it. As a center <laughs> mid, you're most likely getting only buff gonna slow fun. yourself down. <laughs> Work on football specific strength and conditioning like Xavi. No need to be a bodybuilder. Right. And that wraps up today's episode. I truly hope you learned something new, became All that right. much more football intelligent. So today we learned about Xavi, three things, La Pausa, which is actually probably the most helpful thing I learned in this video, uh, and something that I'm going to try to incorporate into my playing. Uh, just not being so frantic with it. Whenever I get the ball, you know, if I have to dribble, I have to dribble, but but if not, like, just wait for the pass to open and then make a good pass. Uh, I think that's something that I'm going to really try to incorporate into my playing. Uh, so La Palsa, we learned about that. We learned about um, positioning and knowing where to go, you know, passing the ball and then moving to get to an open space. Um, something that I'm really going to need to learn a lot more of. And like he said, this can't you can't cover that in a single video like this. And then also just, you know, Football specific conditioning and physicality um, doesn't really apply much to me. Unlike Xavi, I'm about six foot five <laughs> and uh, weigh around 330 pounds, so I'm, I'm a much larger man. Um, but, you know, trying to do some football specific um, training, and that's something that I am trying to incorporate into my, into my life right now. Anyway, if you like what you saw in this video, we've made it all the way to the end of the video. So if you're not subscribed, please subscribe uh i would appreciate it i hope i've earned your subscription and i hope i earned you uh hitting the like button because if you hit the like button then this gets pushed out to more and more people um, youtube realizes that you guys like this content and it'll start putting into other people's recommended feeds and so help me out with the algorithm here go ahead and smash the like button for me and um subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed already and i'll see you guys in the next video